All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Ravenloft's Strahd's Possession. Or Ravenloft Strahd's Possession. Uh, Ravenloft. Well, I guess you could say it's Ravenloft's Strahd's Possession, but then you got two possessives and the word possession. And that's a lot of possessing. This is a very possessive game. All right. In any case, you bought a rabbit. Oh, cool, Dante. Good to hear it. Yeah. It's nice to have. Pets are nice. Uh, it's... It's, uh... I mean, and I do mean that. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, Walter. Th now, I mean, you do have to be prepared with any pets. I still agree with George Carlin when they say pets are a small tragedy. But you, g you love them anyways, you know? <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. That's nice. Um, yeah, let's continue our game. So... Stubborn church doors. Is this where we are? Where? This is where we were. Yeah, f save five. Good. But, yeah. I have... I'm going to be fully honest with you guys. I have been thinking about pets a lot. You know, since my cat died. And, uh, you know, I probably am going to, like, be thinking about getting a new pet at some point. You know, I just wanted to, I do, I did want a period with no pets for a while, just to grieve. How the hell do I open these doors? I just wanted a period to grieve, <laughs> you know, but I might go buy animal shelters. Where else was I supposed to go? <laughs> All right. So, um, right now, for those of you who don't know what the hell's going on, I'm trying to open these doors because I need paper to give me the magic words to save a priest. Also, how's my sound levels? Uh, am I too quiet or too loud? Because last time people said I was a little bit too quiet, so I buffed my sound a tiny bit, and so now if I'm too loud, uh, that's a fair thing to say. You know, it's these volume things, it's like as long as you're making it, like sometimes you'll overshoot, then you'll undershoot, and eventually you'll get, you'll hit your target. It's like artillery duel. All right, I need to figure out how to open those two doors, and I don't know how the F to do that. There were some other doors, and there's two other doors over here that I don't know how the F to open, and I'm... I am a bit frustrated with this, because uh, I was hoping to come back. I said, hey, maybe when we come back, we'll come back with a clear mind. And fresh eyes, and we'll just figure it out. You know. Like they say in those hopeful show, TV shows. It'll just work out somehow. Just you gotta believe. You gotta believe in yourself. Believe in the heart of the cards. Friendship. You know, whatever. But no. These doors... These doors are locked. There's... there's. Is there a switch somewhere else? Is a switch further... Oh, wait, is that it? No, that's not it. I almost thought that was it. Sometimes it's like there's small stones. You like... Poke your finger into a small stone and then the doors open, so... And usually... So far... This game has never put the switch to a door very far away from that door. So that's why I'm thinking it's close in proximity. But they... I don't know. It could say, hey, to open this door, you gotta pull this lever on the other side of the map. Could happen. I don't know. Um, let's take a look at the map. Alright, so we got four doors. I gotta save a priest, and I know... Wait, I can't open this door. I'm, they said I can't open this door. I guess I should try the key ring in that door, just to try it. Um... Okay, we basically attacked this room for all, from all angles. That wall looks suspicious. Maybe something in this room has the secret to these doors? That could be. It would be a little bit far away. Okay, so what about my plan of attack on this? Let's, uh, go around. Let's rub all the walls. Let's rub all the walls and see maybe there's a fake wall and you're not supposed to get through the doors. Maybe you only leave through the doors and the entrance is a lie. Hmm. That's a theory. That's something. I have to fig I have to try something, you know? There's gotta be an answer. Just rub. Just rub all the walls. Just, just try to push your way through. Could be magical. Could be magic liar walls. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was an idea. Okay, you know, here's another idea. You go to a frickin' FAQ, because you're, you just want to save this priest and get on with this game. You know, 
I do, I just want to see. I just want to see what the, completing this game is like. It's like, this is one of these videos that's for me, really, as much as it is for you guys. I mean, it is ultimately, you know, I do record videos so that people can enjoy them, but I just... I just wanted to, I do want to see the end of this game as well. I mean, I could have just played it in my own time if it was really all about me. But I thought this would be a fun... This could be a fun adventure to share together. And then is, isn't this great? Uh, clearly, this is a good decision that I have made. Amongst my life decisions, this has been just great. Alright, so... I can't seem to make this key work. Oh yeah, can you pick that lock? No. I've never been able to pick a lock. The crafty hands of Atalak, Master Thief of the Realm, and my mentor. This lock cannot be picked. I've tried all I know. I'm so glad I brought a thief for this adventure. You have been so useful. <laughs> oh. You have been so useful. Let me tell you, I have picked absolutely zero locks so far in this adventure. Hmm. Actually, well, did I try using the uh, picks on this, like, straight up on the door? I mean, I'm not seeing a lock, but that doesn't mean you can't. Okay, I think there's a skeleton behind the door. Is there something I'm not seeing? Or wait, there was a magical... Was there a magical door opening spell? Is that going to be different than, like... Well, there was a knock. But... Would that work? Because then, like, the wizards would be, like, totally laughing at the thief. Like, yo, who needs a thief when you just have a wizard to cast knock and wizard lock? Will that just, like, force the door open? Because there's... It's worth a frickin' try. I am out of ideas. Alright. I was asleep. Alright. Knock. A door opened. Wasn't this one, though. I thought I heard a door open. Did a door open? I heard a noise. I, I heard a door. I'm hearing a skeleton hawk thousand loogies. Okay, well, um, I, I guess, I'm starting to get to the point where I want to, like, maybe use an FAQ, you know? <laughs> I'm starting to think that maybe, huh, I think Nock did something, or maybe did I, I, I explored all of the, uh, the top floor, okay, okay, well, we can... We, we know that there can be space to the upper edge. Beyond, like, this isn't the edges of the... of the grid necessarily. Cause, so there could be secret doors along that wall. I, I, I don't... I feel like I'm grasping at straws here. I'm, I'm thinking I should go to the FAQ, right, guys? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check the FAQ about this one, because this is getting... This is getting monotonous. Just getting stuck in this... Like, there's this... I, like, I just need the scraps of paper. Okay, I will. I'm, I'm actually legitimately... You got it. Okay. I received permission. I shall go to the annals of... Answers. The Hall of Answers. The FAQ, okay. I'm sure if I bang my head on it long enough, I could uh, figure it out, but for the sake of everyone. Walk through. All right, so where are we? Church of Lathander, level two, okay. Church key. Keep an eye out for illusionary walls. A dwarf PC will be very valuable here. Okay. Alright. Oh, and I do... Wait. Is Pistachio a dwarf? 
Well, well yeah, I found one illusionary wall. Okay. Zombies, skeletons. Recover the four fragments of the Tome of Cursed Items and insert them into it. One very nasty trapdoor in the southwest corner. Open this door. Just says this. Okay. It says look out for illusionary walls and find all four scraps of paper. It doesn't actually give specific instructions, but it said something about the south west corner so there's more here okay i think i learned enough from that faq okay i think i think um all right now i was on the right track for rubbing walls but yeah i don't have a dwarf i wish i had a dwarf about now okay thank you faq all right so how do we get back down there okay that way all right yeah thanks guys Oh, wait, don't, don't worry about memorizing things. Okay, it's this this south. Keep going south. Sometimes I check the map too much just to be sure I'm on the right track in these cases. Just south and west. Maybe through that door, right? Okay, now I need to check the map. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll check through this door and rub the walls. And it definitely sounds like there's something going on. Well, that. Oh, right. This isn't the edge. That's right. Why? Okay. You know, else? Just keep checking the south. Wish I could break the boxes. It seems like this would be an illusionary wall. Aha! Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now we're making progress. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Cool. Hidden door! Okay, cool. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. So is there a scrap of paper in here? Nope, okay. We're looking for scraps of paper. We need two more scraps of paper. Then we can save the priest. And shave the priest. <laughs> oh, oh, is that a trap? Or is that a keyhole? Did I see something on the wall? Or was I imagining it? An odd imperfection. Okay. Our friend just told us of a... That's a key slot, isn't it? Okay, well, we don't have a key. I was afraid of it. Okay, cool. So our, uh... Our elf friend detected a, a hidden door. Was it here? Was it there? Something on the wall. An imperfection of some sort? W w which wall are you talking about? Could you... Ah, ah, ah! Thank you! Oh, now we're doing the zombies. Good old zombies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For some reason, I like to imagine, like, uh, a guy at, like, an organ. It's like it's time for the fight music. <laughs> just, like, just, like, going, it's like, we gotta go crazy. <laughs> I don't know. This kind of sounds like organ music. Quick, it's, it's time for the fight music. This because it's all like intense, kind of. Intense, kind of organ, kind of sounding. I don't know, it's a stupid image in my head. This is a private place, a personal chapel for the head priest of this church. Okay, now we're getting down to, down to brass tacks and ice knives. Magic missile! Poof, <laughs> and, the, and the zombie has disappeared. Okay, so let's get our fight magic on. Wait, did I do bless or heal? I did bless. Okay. Let's get our fight magics on. Let's get aid. Let's do all the buffs. Let's get buff. Let's buff it up. Buffering. Get that flame blade out. That's a beautiful thing. We'll cast aid on. Oh, right. Aid doesn't exceed your max health unless you... Unless you're topping it off. That's right. Oh, well. That's fine. Prayer. Okay, good. And then let's have our, our powerful spells out, ready to go. Why don't you have your ice storm out, and then you can have your magic missiles and your basic stuff. 
So that way, if you want to kick it into high gear, you can quickly just click on that book instead. Sometimes it's hard to click on these smaller buttons. Ah, uh, there's a scrap. Okay. It says here, scrap. You got a problem with me? I, I don't know what you're talking about. It says scrap. What, what, what's your problem? Do you want to fight about it? It's like one of the stupidest... One of the stupidest jerky boys phone calls. It's like, yes, yes, we do run a scrapyard. Yeah, yeah, you have this ad in the paper. It says you want to scrap with me. <laughs> I don't know why you want to fight, sir. Is there nothing I can do with this altar? Scrap of paper. Okay, so yeah, um, I guess there's one scrap of paper here, but I guess uh, we gotta find more magic thingy-majiggies. <laughs> more, uh, more illusionary walls. Okay, so... Um... Okay, well, I mean, that helps. We're nearly done, but... There's supposed to be another scrap of paper somewhere, and it didn't tell me exactly where, so I'm still kind of... Still kind of concerned about that. Oh, well, any more magic doors in this... It just because this... We think this might be the edges of the... The dungeon doesn't mean it actually has to be the edges of the dungeon. Let's... Let's make sure to rub all the walls. <laughs> just to be sure. Did you... You sure you didn't miss any doors? Did you rub all the walls? We've told you to rub all the walls. Now, is this supposed to be the trap? Because it's not firing stuff at me. Because that almost looks like a slot where you put a key. Because there was something like that somewhere else, but... I don't have the... Well, I can try and shove a key into it, but... Like, one of these, like, special... Like, didn't we have that church key? Yeah, that's right, the church key. That's it. I threw it at it. <laughs> that is a trap. Okay. I'm trying to throw it instead. Was it right-click? Nope. Okay. He just left click and left click. Could you do a little bit of damage when throwing random objects? You could do that in net hack. <laughs> I loved that. I love that net hack. It's like, oh no, there's a zombie. I'm just gonna take my entire inventory and start throwing it at him. <laughs> oh. Or not net hack. Not net hack. It was um Oh, that other game. Something hack. Dungeon hack, dungeon hack, dungeon hack. Right. Hacky sack. Dungeon hacky sack. Bet I can do some throwing damage if I want. Right. I might have to look up a separate FAQ for these other two... Other two tricks, but I know... Now that I know about secret doors... And yeah, there's no secret doors on this one. We did check this thoroughly, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure... So that's an odd... Any... Now I'm reinvestigating any odd spot on the map. I know I've rubbed all the walls on this one. This one's perplexed me. But there might be... There might be a little thing to poke. I'm gonna check this room again. Okay. Yeah, I might have to check yet another FAQ. A better... I might have to check a better FAQ with better... More details. But I kind of like that I got an FAQ that had less details, because it still gives me a hint without putting me right there. Okay, so, yeah. Again, this one... Well, this wall seemed quite odd, though. No, oh, okay. And this one with the symbols. I mean, that seems like an indication for a track trick door, but no, that would take you right back there, so... Okay. All right. I'm watching you, Illusionary Walls. And of course, it was those two rooms down there. I'm still taking for frickin' ever doing this. I apologize. Let's, or, well, no, you know, well, whatever, it's fun. Let, let's, I'm gonna give it, I'm a, I apologize if I'm boring the crap out of you by being dense. So, yeah, I might just give this one more shot, and if I can't figure it out, I'm gonna go to an FAQ, because... I know your patience has a limit. I tend to be a lot more patient with these sort of things than, uh, than my audience, in some cases. Okay. 
No, these are no fake walls. 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 Yeah, while well, I was rubbing this earlier, checking for fake walls, wasn't I? Just earlier in the stream, yeah. All right, so, wait. Was that attached to this door? Yeah, that was attached to this door. Okay, just making sure. That's attached to that door. Okay. There's not just like a lever that's further away, but actually affects it. But like also instead of hidden doors, there's not like a small button that one of my people will say, hey, there's a small button. There's no small button. That's not a small button. This is a crack. Stop poking your finger into cracks in the walls, hoping it will have an effect. Did I try knocking these doors? I can't say I tried knocking these doors. I guess let's, uh... Here. Okay. So again, I can't use this on it. I can't knock it. I hear the sound of an opening door, but I don't see an opening door, so... Don't lie. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just try that. Let's look at the wiki again. Let's look at, or let's look at a, a better FAQ. A slightly better FAQ this time. How about that? Alright. Down each side. Oh! Oh, there was other buttons. Apparently there was other buttons in that corridor. But if I pressed them, I would have got shots. So I found the right button in that fireball corridor. That's cool. Otherwise I would have been fireballed repeatedly. And good to see you, finger popping Tommy. Welcome to the stream. Oh, maybe did we only need three fragments? Wait, how many fragments did it say? I thought it was four. Four fragments. They say four fragments. I only got three fragments, right? Let me double check this, because do I just. Am I done? Ah, <laughs> good to see you, Livy. Welcome to the stream. Yay. Uh oh. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm glad to see you here. Alright, a dusk, the cock crows, at midnight, no one knows. Okay, so yeah, we need to find one more. And now we got... Oh yeah, I'm glad to see you here. Alright, um... Go back to the first floor, when you find all four. Is there like keyholes for the other doors, or it doesn't? All right, let me let me check a different. Again, I was making sure I didn't misunderstand something on this one. Let's let's go to a different walkthrough. All right, this walkthrough is much more detailed. That'll help. Okay. Jesus, this one's way too detailed. It's gonna take me a second to get to it. That, okay, that FAQ is not complete. That was more like a website about everything in the game. Okay, I, I probably should have had a FAQ up before I started this. I didn't think it would be such an issue. Or another one. There's gotta be... Let's go to game, game FAQs. That's the best place to go.
Ah, well, I'm glad you are, Livy. Yeah, and you came in a good time. <laughs> I was, uh... I'm trying to figure out what to do when... Well, kind of helps fill a bit of dead air to have a conversation. Uh, game FAQs doesn't have an FAQ for this? Come on, your game FAQs. You're supposed to have a FAQ for this. We have no FAQ. Okay. What happened? I thought game FAQs was the place to go for FAQs for games. Gotta be able to find a better one. I'm sure I could watch somebody's video about it. I was hoping to get like a written one though. Alright, this is killing me here. This is the this is the best FAQ I can find. Okay, this might be a better one. Alright, now we're talking. Find the gold church key, which will open some of the doors in the level. Find the four fragments and insert them, insert them into the tome of cursed items. Return the main floor. <laughs> oh... Yeah, well, I've been stuck. I've been stuck for a while, so I did need help. And, uh... Well, it's starting to get to the point where it's not as much fun anymore, but... None of the FAQs are saying anything about these doors. Like, I'm supposed to have a key for it? But where's the keyhole? Or do the doors just open and I'm not clicking? Like... And I just need one more fragment, I think it's behind one of those... One of these doors. Yeah, I'm stuck. I am definitely stuck on these... Well, I mean... Like I said, I probably can figure it out eventually. But it's getting to the point where it's hard... It's not as entertaining <laughs> for everyone. Just me being stuck on these parts. So I wanted to... There's like nothing I can poke. Okay. Like, these two doors are locked. And, and these two doors are locked. And I think there's a scrap of paper behind one of them. And I've tried, like, tried magic. I'm looking for switches. I'm looking for keyholes. Am I blind? I mean, then why are none of the FAQs that I'm looking at say anything about it? Like, I don't know. I don't mind, like, looking at somebody else's video. But, like... I don't know, like, how YouTube... I haven't done any React videos or anything like that, so I don't know how YouTube treats that sort of thing. Did I hear a click? Did I click? Or no. Yeah, that... This... This keyhole is for this... Good to see you, Aaron! This keyhole is for this key. So it's definitely... I am stuck, as you can see. I'm still stuck on these, but... Yeah, it's good to see you. There was a storm. It's going okay. I mean, the game's working. But... I'm just not making progress, and I tried looking up FAQs, and I'm still not making progress, and that's, that's an issue. Like, I could just watch somebody else's walkthrough. Frickin'. <laughs> but none of the FAQs, they just, like, go, go down, it's like, go down into the church area, get the three scrap, or get the four scraps of paper, come on back up. And I'm missing one of the scraps of paper. And I'm pretty sure it's either in these... Or those. And I've got keys. The keys open up all these. But yeah, it's good to see you. It's good to see you both. Yeah, welcome to the stream. Congratulations. Now you guys are... Stuck in this situation with me. <laughs> uh, we're all stuck in it together. But this, these two doors are particularly a mystery.
relatively alive. Well, then this will uh, kill you all over again. Uh, it will drain you. This is a game that will drain you of all your health and vitality like a vampire. Till you can no longer proceed, you'll be stuck. You too will be Strahd's possession, stuck forever to waste away slowly. And soon, there'll be nothing left but a withered, desiccated corpse. <laughs> or if you get far enough, uh, Strahd might just drain your blood personally. Like, <laughs> those, those are the lucky ones. There's, there's no, there's no buttons. Like, what? There's no, this is, this pull chain's for this door, right? Oh, that's right. Sometimes if you F with a pull chain, sometimes it might affect other doors nearby. Right? Maybe I should be, like, messing around with the pull chains. No? Okay. Like, one time I thought, I swear, like, if I messed with them... There was, like, what, some sort of s sympathetic reaction. <laughs> Or was that just me being... No, I think that was me being... Wrong. Because that's right, I thought... Like, I opened the door and it... It's around the same time I messed with one of those. There's no... Wait. Is that something? There's no secret walls. There's no secret buttons. Oh, I know what I can do. I can look up a map for this place. That'll help. Just the map. Uh, church map. Not church mom. <laughs> church map. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Are you looking up church moms? <laughs> All right. Let's, 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 let's go down this rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, now I am. Because I spelled it wrong. Kind of reminds you of the original Doom. Can we see the map? Church. This is a, that's the caves west of Barovia. I said the church. Do you have all? Do you, do you have all these? Please tell me they have the map of the church. Dungeons. Town of Barovia. Okay, that's the outside of the church. That's a start. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, okay. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. This is... Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> okay, that was... Yeah, that was a lot of excitements. I'm fi I'm glad I finally freaking found... I, I took a long time to search for this. I apologize for taking so long. I'm just gonna put this map right over here. So I can see it while I'm playing. And I can see my monitor. Okay, cool. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely reminds us of original Doom. Okay, so, looking at my map, there is, why does this look different? Lower church level two? This looks very different from my map. You're not talking about church level one. Oh, there's a whole extra floor. Is that it? No, wait, it says there's two pages though. Is this, wait a second. What's, what's, this map looks very different. I'm a, I'm a little bit confused here. Is there a whole nother floor to this place? Old church, it says lower level two. So I guess there's another downstairs. Okay, so I gotta look on, okay. Yep, I got the wrong floor. There's another floor and that explains a lot. Lower level one. Okay, okay, and this is the right one. Okay, I got it. So there's stairs. There's stairs near here. Oh, okay. I didn't check the oldest trick in the book. There's more 
there's there's more there's more illusions past the first illusion. It's that thing. The, there's more illusions past the first illusion. Okay, so I don't need to look at the other map, but I know where my maps are. Okay, I got proper help now. Jesus. Only 30 minutes into the stream. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. We're making progress again. That's fine. It was really hard. So, yeah, we go, we go past these illusions. Or, oh. Wait, but this was the one... Oh, I see. This... No, it is an illusion. You have to use the key. You do have to use the key. I have to get the key from somewhere else. Oh! I have... Okay, so I have to get the key for that somewhere else. And they were telling me I had to get it outside here. I didn't know that was the key to progress. Oh, you. You game. So do I have to go back to Lord Strahd and talk to him? Okay, because I never reported to him about the, uh, the thing about the caves. So do I have to go back to Strahd? I think I have to go talk to Strahd. Oh, now I don't feel so dumb. I mean, a little bit, but I mean, how was I supposed to know I was supposed to go back to Strahd? Okay, I want to mark stairs. Stairs. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, certainly I hate it when you just need one thing and they don't give good hints, you know? Like, uh, I don't mind puzzles in games, that's fun. But when you need a hint, I shouldn't, like, need to scour the entire world of Strahd's... I shouldn't need to scour all of Strahd's possession looking for that one thing that I need to progress. That does. That certainly gets mind-numbing. But wait, the FAQ didn't say... I guess maybe the FAQs expected me to have the key earlier, probably. Was that it? I want to make sure... I might refer to this FAQ again just to make sure, but I think... I think I need to talk to Strahd at this point. Which means I need to leave this whole place. Because he did want me to report back to him afterwards. But the FAQ didn't say that in writing, but I may have... It's like, it might have been one of those steps that I missed. You know how, like... I just jumped to the part where I was at in the FAQ, but sometimes it's like, it's vital that you do this thing so you can do this thing later on, kind of... thing. And I'm pretty sure that's... Otherwise, I'll have to take a look at another F another look at FAQs to, to figure out where I'm supposed to get that dang key for the, for the church. Because apparently, the game wants me to have that key. Okay, so there was the... Mare's place on the far west end. Well, there's certainly a difference between, like, action RPGs and, like, good old-fashioned turn-based RPGs. Like, I feel like you're... You're like a hardcore fan of RPGs if you can deal with, like, playing original Dragon Warrior. I mean, I'm not saying that, like, action RPGs are... ...any less of an RPG, just... They certainly require more patience. If it, if you lack patience. If that's the issue. Yes. Because <laughs> action RPGs are much... Well, they're, they're generally my preferred thing. I like action RPGs. That's why I kind of like this one. It's because it is kind of an action RPG, you know? Alright. Surprised to see us. But nothing else has changed. I even went through... So you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna like, send me back to Strahd. Before I go all the way back to Strahd's... Castle. Let me double check this. I'm gonna go back to the freaking FAQ.
Wait, did I have a gold church key? Wait, there was a gold church key which will open some doors in this level. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about going to the old church floor too. Wait. I'm a little confused. Oh, find Sasha's pages. These are different pages. Oh, I'm confused. Okay, these are different pages that the other map had. Oh, and it has... Oh, okay, okay. I did screw up. I screwed up twice. I screwed up twice. Okay. I was misinterpreting things. There was one map that I was talking about pages, but that's for a different quest. And then this map had them labeled as book fragments. Oh, frere. Oh, or okay. Oh, frere mon contraire. Or something like that. Something, I don't know. I don't know why people say that when they're, they mean like, well, la di da. What? <laughs> I wasn't even saying that right. All right, anyways. Well, I see. Let's, uh. Let's. Let's do this. I think, uh. Okay. Yeah, so everything I need is. On that floor. But it doesn't say where the. It doesn't say where the levers are, does it? There's a fragment. There's a fragment in that north door. Okay, so yeah, I can see that, like, one of the doors that I couldn't. Wooded area. Wrong. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> huh. I mean, I can see where I need to go on the map. Yeah, those two closed doors have the fragments. That I need. So it's all a matter of getting in there. Oh, it was wrong. Yeah, I keep going the wrong way. Actually, at this point, should I just... Should I just load my save back there? I don't know. Did I, like, kill... Uh, did I actually kill anything? Worth... I haven't really made any progress worth saving, have I? Oh, yeah. We'll turn on set mode so I can get there faster. Zoom. Uh, I know there was a couple versions of Baldur's Gate... But I'm not sure if they were the same. I don't think that Baldur's Gate on the console was the same as the PC version. Was it? Or I know there was a couple... I don't know, there was a couple weird versions of Baldur's Gate. But I don't know if, if, if they made... But yeah, if they did make one that was uh, better... They're, the first attempt at making a Baldur's Gate game wasn't very good. I know that. But I, they probably took more attempts at it. Yeah. I know they I know they made a couple. I know they made more than one. And, uh... Yeah, so I'm glad to hear... I'm glad to hear that the one you played is good. Alright, so yeah, definitely... Like, my, I need to set my sights, particularly... On these... And I did know this is important. These two frickin' doors right here. I need to get in these two doors. Because behind this door is the fragment I need in which, or, or, I need to proceed. Now, this map doesn't show how to open it, though. It doesn't show how to open it. But there's gotta be a frickin' way. Yeah, and I don't think they put buttons low. Hmm. So what in this world? I mean, at least I know where to focus my attention, but like the map doesn't say. The map doesn't say that. The map doesn't say, and the FAQ didn't say how to open these particular doors. And I'm not gonna go to someone else's video at this point. This lever just closes and opens them. Peacock thing? You got any answers? Sorry, I'm on the wrong side of things. I'm still... I'm still stuck, though. You know? No, I just went through the door. It's okay. Huh. 
I am... Alright. <sighs> There's got to be a better place I can look for an answer. Let me take a look at this again. Church. Evolutionary walls. They said something about looking for hidden buttons on the first church floor. Do you mean that there's a hidden button on the first floor of this place that affects the second floor? Because that would be crazy. That would be insane. That's not the word they were saying, right? At this point, I'm so taxed for ideas... Let's go back to the first floor. If if there's a button on the first floor that affects the second floor of this dungeon. I said something about accessing the library. That would be be all kinds of insane. Like I don't even know how to describe that. <laughs> So now I'm back on the first floor looking for frickin' buttons. But, uh, well, shouldn't there be another map to tell me where the buttons are? On the main floor? Okay, let's go to the main floor thing. Okay, so it does it does talk about buttons. Okay, let's... I can see... Okay, I don't have to look for the buttons. The game's gonna... The, the maps are gonna tell me where the buttons are. Alright, I really need help at this point. So, there's a button in this room. Did I, did I press the button previously? And where is it? What? Did you have a key when you found the other fragments? No. Or, well, I got one key. But, like, there's another key I need to get. Yeah. Okay, so, wait. Wasn't there button in this... Uh, the, the, wait, the, the FAQ was saying there's a button in this room, but I guess... Did I press it to open that? So I pre what I press to open that? Okay, well, I know it's, it said they're very small, but I think maybe I pressed that in the previous episode, so it's not showing up. Okay, well, there's another button that they say I needed to have pressed. Like, down here. And that's probably, that's probably a button I pressed, yeah, previously to open up the rest of this. So yeah, I think I pressed both of these buttons, right? Oh yeah, and I had this... That's the Ivlis seal, so that's... That's not useful right now. Wait, the button's right... Right there. Near the peacock? Where's the button? Okay, now I'm even like... Yeah, that music is not helping. <laughs> There's a label that says a button here on this map I'm looking up as an FAQ, but... That peacock is not a button. You know that? <laughs> oh. Did I press a button around here? Wait, was that the button? Was this the button before, but I did press it? Oh, no, there's the button. 
There was the button in the corner. That's right, and I pressed it. Okay. And I can press it again, but it doesn't matter. Well, just to make sure I'm gonna have it pressed in, right? That's... I'm toggling it now. Great, I can toggle the button. But I'm pretty sure I did that button. But, so wait, the other button could be in the corner like that? Did I do the other button? Did I do the other button? I just want to make sure I did the other button. Now that I know what it looks like, it might be in the corner. But is that... I don't even know if that button's relevant. Yeah, that's not a button there. Yeah. Okay. So in this room, it could be in the corner. That's not a button. That's definitely not a button. Yep, there's secret wall buttons. This game loves secret wall buttons. It's like, hey, you think our uh, our walls are dreary and boring? Far from it. Is there a way to, like, look up and down? I don't need to, like, look at the floor and press one of these loose... Don't tell me it's one of these lower things, because that... That would start to drive me nuts. It's not this? You sure it's not that? Is this a button? Usually buttons are things between things. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I already pressed this button and that's why I'm not seeing it, right? It opened up it opened up this chamber. Yeah. Yeah, maybe this map just doesn't have the the button labeled properly. I don't know. But like I don't think this button affects the, the lower floor though. That'd be crazy. That'd be nuts. Oh, well, I think the the main thing I'm confirming is that I pressed buttons already. I am starting to be concerned that I'm whether or not I can actually just like get through this game. You know that I'm starting to lose my patience. Uh, yeah. You know what? I might just look up a video on it. For God's sakes, I am really, really stuck. Like this is catastrophically stuck. Let's see. Don't tell me this is the same FAQ I'm reading. Hey, Bridget! I am stuck. I am very stuck on this the same part that we left off on, basically. Alright, so... Use the vestibule key. Kill the hellhounds. Get down the stairs. I only got three fragments out of the four fragments. Now I know where the fourth fragment is. I, did, I found the thing in the southwest. I know, I'm probably just gonna have to actually look up a... I know, I really do! Like, no wonder I never beat this game! It's like, how did I not beat this game when I was a kid? Now I know why! It was frickin' impossible! <laughs> Alright. And also, we know why uh, strategy guides sold so much. Back then, there was an in there quite an industry for selling strategy guides. Just on paper, you know, paperback strategy guides. In fact, I still have a few. Um, yeah. Anyways. Trying to find a... A good, helpful... Howdy folks, Sam. Alright, I'm looking at somebody else's video on the subject. Oh no, you're on the second you're on the second floor of the church. I gotta find you on the first floor of the church. How did you get through it?
This is this is great great footage right here. Oh, we're sh we're showing I'm showing someone else's yeah. We're, we, I was actually like popping it up. <laughs> okay. Put that another tab. But you see, yeah, credit to Ghost LP for I'm using I'm using your your videos. He's gonna help me out with this one. Cause apparently he got through it. I can just find his. It's like part twenty. Is that in part twenty-two of his series? Yeah, so I need to find part 21. Okay. Well, let me search for it like that. Did he open it up? Yeah. How did he? Okay. How'd you do that? <sighs> okay. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. If I'm gonna like look through this, actually. All right, this guy's this guy's playthrough is all over the place. Huh. Well, that's a problem if you actually look at someone else's video. Yeah, I oh, yes, yes, Bridget. I did find I did find the southwest corner thing. That was this. The what we're trying to figure out is these two freaking doors. Like the fragment is behind that door. And I just I just can't figure out how in the world you open it up. And it's it's got me fully stumped here. It's not a secret. I'm gonna freaking click on the walls. All around these doors. I'm not seeing any secret buttons or nothing. Okay, anyways. But yeah, I've spent a lot of time looking around these two doors. Um, anyways. Apparently, there's a lot of extra loot I can get other places. So I might want to go looking around. I could have better equipment at this point, apparently. That's what's been made clear. I don't know how the hell... Alright. How the hell do you open that up? Vestial key. Kill the hellhounds. For the map, the fragments. Or, well, there's a book. Or it's saying that, well, there's two different books. Yeah, there's, there's a second floor that you can't visit, but I know, 
I know one of the fragments for the tome. Like, there's there's two different book quests. But this, uh, this Tome of Evil Artifacts, I need to save the priest. And I know the last fragment is in there. And then this is a... I'll get a, a different key for this door later that I can get down in the next floor. And then there's fragments for some sort of other book. And that that's the part, when I was reading the FAQ, that's the part that confused me as well, too. At first. But if I go back up... Like, this isn't... The way things are right now with the book... I can't help the priest. And if I can't help the priest, then I can't get to the next floor. Because the requirement for getting to the next floor is helping the priest so I can get the key. So I need to get this next... Fragment. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I appreciate... I appreciate your help. I really do, Bridget. Yes. But yeah, I looked up, I looked up a map, and it wasn't showing that. That fragment should be on the second floor somewhere? Or you mean... Well, because there's, there's another floor down beyond... Like, this is the main floor. This is a lower level one. Yeah, the fragment is right here. I'm pretty sure that's what the game was telling- or that's what one of the other maps was telling me. I can't mark it though when I'm just looking. Um, and then you can go down like one more. But so yeah, it-, it I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's what I've been told. Yeah, I bet they don't like hobbits, exactly. That's why. But maybe it was somewhere I already went? Well, we can see objects on the floor. Yeah, the fragments are all on the same floor, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we got we got three fly fragments on this floor. And there is this area I haven't been in, but... It should be... It should be here according to that other map. And they don't need any- and these doors open with a key, so I shouldn't need anything more than the key. Okay, so yeah. Exactly, so I should have all the necessary tools to get that door open. Exactly. Hmm. So is there like a secret button? And, and the map didn't say anything about a secret button. Can I just click on the damn doors or what? Please don't tell me it's so simple as did you, did you try opening the doors? Okay, step mode kind of can be confusing. Pretty sure I'm properly... I mean, because I've clicked on other doors. And it's properly clicking on the doors. Yeah, if we were clicking on the, the button. Does something special have to do with these doors? Alright, so we've definitely clicked on the doors. There's no lever next to the doors. Okay, just making sure. Just... Because I, I, this game tends to put things right next to the doors, right? Actually, I haven't scrutinized these parts. Man, playing with this doesn't do jack. To be clear. But what else could it possibly be? It's got okay. Hmm. Yep. 
Maybe just doing it once instead of doing it like crazy. Sure that has nothing to do with these doors? Yeah, because it just affects those doors. It's not like it's... Is that something? Nope. God, I don't know. And this spot does seem kind of funny. Okay, um... It's not on another floor? Is it on another floor? I feel really dense right now. <sighs> Please let that be the thing, is what I was saying. Or thinking. But no, these... It's just this is a standard rock formation that you get... Actually, trying to put my fingers in cracks. Uh... Did I... I tried using the key. I threw the key. The key's now on the ground. Uh, there's no keyholes. Usually a big fat keyholes. <sighs> Even with all the help, I can't figure this out. Like, I don't want to have to watch every minute of this other guy's playthrough to figure out where he did it. Because apparently he went into the church twice. It was some other, I don't know. Like, I, can't, I don't want to go, like, it, and it'd be boring as heck if I was going to do that anyways. I hope my game isn't bugged. That would suck. That would really stink. Alright. I'm looking up some help now. Once again. Because we're gonna crack this. This is just like dead air though. It 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 does It does bother me having to do this. Rather than just try to figure it out myself. But when you're stuck. This is this is how streaming is. The fun part of it anyways. I'll definitely try to cut this out for the viewers. Cause yeah, we're already an hour into this and I've been stuck this whole time. I swear, whatever this is, it better be freaking good. I am, I am just, I just want to know. Now, you know what? I don't care if I get through this game. In the fireball corridor? It was one of the buttons in the fireball corridor. Oh, you don't say. Oh, I read it as that it was only affected the, I, I, I thought it said that there was only one right one. And the rest hit you with fireballs. There's two buttons in the fireball corridor that you're supposed- mm. That's the first time I've ever had a game put the button so far away from the door. Okay. That is- that does explain it. That is- That- okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is all I need to hear. 
That is all I need to hear. Jesus. Okay. Another one of them little buttons. You guys, you just gotta press all the buttons. That's all. I mean, but that means you just you need to press all the buttons, and you're basically gonna get hit by the fireballs, right? Because if there's, I, uh, it was so far away. Okay. Well, that. Fine. Just make sure to press all the buttons. You know. That's how it goes. A little bit annoyed about that. Okay. So, will this shoot me with a fireball? Yep. Alright, good. Then we'll just get healed. We'll just rest. That's fine. And that is the one, isn't it? Wait, was it? Or was that the one for the door at the end of the hallway? No, this shut the door at the end of the hallway. Okay, great. Okay. That was a fireball, but I it missed me. Ha, <laughs> you missed me. Ha. Huh. Okay. That was that one. That one hit me. Ah, good night, Libby. Thanks for sticking with me during this... troublesome period. Will it show it on the map? I think it will. Boy. Oh, yeah, that was the one that affected that door. Okay, so yeah. We're going down the line. We we just press that one. Yeah. Okay. For that. I guess that just. Wait. Now it's shut behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah, at least we can see it on the map. And that was a fireball. Did I miss one? I think I might have pressed. There was one that didn't do anything. That. Okay. But yeah. That. Okay. Once again. Did I miss did I, did I miss one? That one hits you with a fireball. This one hits you with a fireball. <laughs> just making just really pointing it out. Okay. Let's just load this is this no, yeah, now this is a save load situation. Oh, what about the other wall? Is there any buttons on the other Ah, uh, there's one button on the other wall. There's another button on the other wall. There's another button on the other wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going insane. All right. This is just fun. So did we do it? Nope. We didn't do it. All right, so. But the buttons have been pushed. Hang on, that. Okay. Three buttons on the north wall, four buttons on the south wall. Okay. So wait, do you have to push all the buttons to do it? <laughs> Machine gun! How does this thing work? It's amazing! Okay. Do I do I just need to have them all pushed? Because... Like, this is the safe button. This is the one button that's safe. It shows it on the map that it changes the door. Right? Oh, wait. No, it didn't. It didn't? Oh, it doesn't reflect on the map? It doesn't reflect it on the map. It doesn't reflect it on the map. It doesn't... I thought it did. No, now it does. Do I need to go look at it? Do I actually need to go look at it every time? For it to update on the map? Because that would make sense, but... I was really hoping it would do me a solid and... Not do that. So maybe... I have, yeah, I have to go back and check. But wait, didn't they all hit me with fireballs, though? That one didn't. Oh, no, that one did, yeah. Ah, now I'm all confused. Let's go back and check. I mean, that, that would make sense. So wait, these... All these ones on the north wall, just to be clear. Hit me with fireballs. Let's just push all the buttons. Let's have all the buttons pushed. That one's still pushed in because that opened that door. And go ahead and heal up. And I don't care that you're dead right now. We're just figuring this out. 
Again, that hits you with the fireball. We pushed every button. They say they are shut. I'm going to go over there. And we're going to see if they're shut. Because everything... Unless, what if... What if the button for that door at the end of the hall was the toggle for those doors? Like they toggle each other. Well, we'll find out. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, goddammit. Alright. Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, because there's one... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, well, there was one button. There's one button that opens the door at the end of the fireball hell. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and we did this We did this earlier, and I happened to get lucky and get the button on the first try. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't put it past this game to have two buttons that do that crap. I wouldn't put it past this game... <laughs> I can get these buttons without getting shot. I like that. Okay, well, anyways. So we're gonna toggle that door and see if it affects the other door, because I think I proved that I actually have to go look at them. If I can just navigate my way through this freaking maze. I should know at this point. This place should be like my second house at this point. <laughs> should know it so well. Oh, okay. Here, I I was I was looking something else out that something else out that might give me the answer. But I'm not sure. Oh, you can actually look inside your key ring? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, golden church key. So yeah, we can confirm. Oh. Um, the room before you get to those doors, there's a pull chain on a pillar. Probably one of those. You know, it could be an out of room pull chain. Once again, this one does this one. It doesn't affect the doors. But one's on the other side. We're talking the other side. Let's play with those pull chains. Okay. So like again, the other side of the door pull chain obviously. But I'm not I'm I'm being thorough. I'm just being very thorough. There's pull chain here, but that affects Wait, did that affect this? That made a different It's the pull chains in this room. It's the pull chains in this freaking room. Yep, it is. On a pillar, you were saying that. Yep, on a pillar. I was. It's in a different room. On a pillar, not on a wall. It is. That was. That did that. That lower one. This one did that lower one. So that's progress. We did. We did the lower one. We did the lower one. We just need to do the top one. Okay. So not on a wall. It was in this room. Okay. Well, we got this one out of two. That's one out of two. So the other one has to be. Good God. This is just no nuts. Okay. Ah, uh, but now this one's in here. Okay. There we go. It was just outside the room. It wasn't that... Again, it wasn't that far away. Oh. Hi, zombie lord. I'm feeling a bit blue. I am diseased. Good. Doesn't matter. Isn't... Is there an item on the bottom of the floor? It says there's an item. Can I see the item? Can you look down? Oh, there it is. Okay. Remove curse. Okay. 
There we go. Dun dun dun! Finally! God, this is like that. Oh my god, I feel so dense. It was just in the next. It was just in the next freaking room. I just didn't search the next freaking room carefully enough. Oh man. And I went looking everywhere else. Okay. Oh. I'm feeling. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> suddenly that's not a good feeling, but oh well. Yay! <laughs> Alright. I guess it was worth it. Well, I want to complete this game. But man, that. I feel dumb now. <laughs> Should have figured that out a lot sooner. Did I have a cure disease thing? Gotta love those old DOS games. You gotta, you, you definitely do. Did I have? A, I don't think I have a cure disease potion. Okay, I think you can sleep with disease without it killing you, right? So let's get cure disease. Cure disease. Okay. We can memorize it, and hopefully this is one of those things that won't kill you when you sleep. Party members of disease continue resting? Nope, it frickin' murdered ya! But it's a disease. Okay, uh, rested 200,000 hours. Uh, I guess I should have had cure disease before this. Or we're gonna have to load save before I got sick, because apparently it can't survive sickness. Do I have a, oh no, I think I have a cure disease scroll. There it is. Excuse me, there it is. Okay, there it is. All right. Good. Good. I thought I had cured disease. It was a scroll. Whew. Okay. All right. And now I guess we better start memorizing that shit. All right, rest. God, this is crazy. All right, we all get stuck sometimes, but boy, that was a stuck point. That was an over an hour of being stuck. This is nothing, nothing quite like that. Okay, now I can shut down, shut off a lot of this stuff. Hopefully, although I'll keep it close by, but hopefully I won't need all this FAQ nonsense anymore. He said, hopefully. <laughs> But yeah, I just eliminated the obvious too early. I wasn't thinking logically, and I went, I went, started going huge leaps and bounds. All right. Oh yeah. That's right. Okay, use the book edit. Okay, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting some sound with that. What the book, what did it say? Okay, at dusk, the cock crows, at midnight, the mirrored sun. Okay. And he's back. It's good to see you mobile again, old priest. I take it, the spirit in the mirror was yours. Oh, it was me. Whoever you are, thank you. But go now. I am weary, and this is no longer holy ground. It has been corrupted by the evil of Count Strahd von Zorovich. He came upon us as like a madman. No mortal could have defiled my church so easily, or dealt such vile blows to holy men. As if we were thieves, or worse. Ah, you actually looked up a scanned walkthrough of this game? That's awesome. Well, that's a good idea. All right. Oh yeah, we saw some bones. A devoted young man slain by Strahd the night my spirit was cast into the mirror. If only the vigor of life could be returned to his loyal bones, I'm certain he would work to bring the count to justice. I myself am too weary from the ordeal. And I believe no mere spell can raise his dead bones. A resurrection is necessary. Good, because I use my raise dead scrolls. Already. There is a key. Giving it to you is the only reward a poor priest can provide for the gift of his spirit. 
right, thank you. Hooey. Wait, <laughs> it looks like what's going on, buddy? Looks like he's freaking out now. You having a seizure? Ah, there's the key. Okay. Iron Cemetery Gate Key. Oh, to the cemetery. Looks like we're going to the cemetery. That's true, but he said... He said a resurrection, which wasn't... Isn't a resurrection, like, more advanced than this, like, raised dead? Plus, my cleric doesn't know that spell. Yet. But... We might... We might have a scroll of resurrection? We have a raised dead. Like, wasn't in D&D, &D, if I recall correctly, like, raised dead n needed to be done within, like, 24 hours or something? It was like, there wasn't there, like, a time limit for raised dead? Whereas, like, a resurrection was, like, like, it could exceed those time limits? So that the raised dead won't work? And hence, I basically need a quest item that I can't get other places. So where's the cemetery? Where's the cemetery? Uh, well, let's take a look at these other screens here by then. Because, yeah, apparently we're supposed to go out to the cemetery and then come back. Which probably is near the church grounds. And wait, I came through... Ah, okay, that is probably up there. It's probably back there. Okay, yeah. It's probably this other exit. Gotta stay on track now. Hey, B. Vargas. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I'm very glad to be not stuck anymore. <laughs> so is this the cemetery grounds? Aha, there's... Yep, that looks about right. Yep, right shape. Click. Nice. Can I put that on my key ring? You can! Okay. That makes sense. Alright. Oh, my back party members can attack. What's wrong with you? Paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. Although, do we have a cure paralysis? No, we don't. Quite a yell. Quite a lot of ghouls here, but that makes sense. Alright, uh... Oh, and I had knock on, because I was trying it. Ice storm's a beautiful thing. Couple, couple fireballs ought to settle this whole... nonsense out. Oh, I'm being hit. Okay. You can still use Cure Light Wounds even though you're paralyzed. Is that is that really how it works? I don't think that's how it works. But now that my character's paralyzed, she's going to be much easier to get hit. Yeah, I like this game, but... You can get stuck, and getting stuck does, or at least I can get stuck because I'm dense. And getting stuck in games like this certainly can get a bit tiring, but I love the fighting parts. Was that a freaking? what is that? Uh, I probably should get my turn on dead on. Because, uh, that looks like some sort of vampire banshee situation. Better get zapping. Oh. Okay, is there something behind me? Whatever that was, it's dead. Okay, nice. Keep healing. Nothing like some good old comp-fashioned. Well, I don't know exactly what it is because I didn't engage it in melee, so... It'll say if I try to stab it. It's a vampire. Wow, 14 damage. Okay. Shouldn't have messed with that. That's a vampire. I wasn't sure, you know. <laughs> it, 
It was wailing. It was a lady. <laughs> okay. So we're killing vampires now. Ha! Huh. Take that, Strahd. You have a few less... few less friends in your possession. But I'm running out of, uh... Running out of resources here. Also, I thought Paralyze went away. I guess it does, but it takes a while. I forgot how long it was. It was a long... It was like... Like, you're paralyzed for five or ten minutes or something. I think that's how it worked. Ow. Okay. Wait, did... Oh, yeah, I don't have enough resources to kill this thing, do I? Let's just avoid it, then. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I didn't use my aid and stuff, but... Let's back up and rest. Good, okay. And yeah, that that's the status that goes away. It just takes a while. All right, and um, do I have a remove paralysis? Remove paralysis. I have to exchange that for cure disease. And paralysis isn't fatal. Where frickin' disease is. Too slow poison. Actually, I'm gonna keep my spells like it are. I'm just gonna try not to get paralyzed. Just try not to get paralyzed, that's all. <laughs> I know it's not easy. But disease will frickin' end us. I don't know why I have you holding the potion when you can have a wand. Okay, eight us both. But yeah, now I'm having fun again. Now, I'm, now we're getting back into the fun of the game. Killing monsters and exploring. Save often too. Not that it isn't a huge blast to get stuck looking for a lever. But obviously, uh, I'm... I'm I, I, I'm, I'm not great at figuring certain things. It's not the first time I've gotten stuck on something like that. Okay, so I need a key. But I guess I shouldn't feel too bad about it. I mean, it's like... It happens. What kind of... There you go, too. Okay. I'm gonna try to get away with meleeing you. And I miss having a lots of... Oh, I should have changed my spells. Okay. I miss having lots of flint burning hands. I'm gonna get more burning hands again. Cause that is beautiful. But I'm not going to go all burning hands, because what if I run... Frickin' back attack from a vamp... Did, did more vampires spawn here, or just there's just a lot? There's just a lot. I don't know. I think... I'm not... You know, I'm not sure if this is a game that spawns enemies or not. I think it does sometimes when you rest. Otherwise, killing vampires probably gets you a lot of experience. Although, wait a second. Didn't uh, undead creatures also drain experience back in D&D? Second edition? I'm not sure if Ice Knife is working against them. Wait, but the Frost spell did, right? Ice Storm. No, Ice works. Their head gets huge when they bite you. Turn undead. Alright. Ow, okay. So we didn't, like, get our levels drained, did we? Because that would stink. I hated that level draining nonsense. Yeah, high level... High level undead can frickin' drain your levels. That was... That's just... That sucked. <laughs> and that might be uh, an eventuality we might have to deal with soon. Alright, heal up.
Oh, did somebody level up? Oh, nice. Oh, cool. So yeah, she's gonna have more spells then. Which is nice, because we need to reload. Okay, don't get killed, my little... My little halfling buddy. Okay, drink that. Go. Let's take that guy out. Alright. Yeah, and fireballs will be effective against vampires, definitely. Okay, I need to get out of here. Curious herald upon the wall deserves examining. Okay, I didn't know I could click on it. Loading from the CD. Fun. Rich in jewels, poor with hate. He fought when light with life and hoped to cheat his fates. Oh, wait, who is that? Here lies Victor Griming. Was that really? No, load game. Don't load game. I wanted my map. Whoops, I loaded game. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to stay near the exit, but can I... Can I get away with resting here? I doubt it. Nope. Okay, let's, let's, let's rest over here and... Oh, right, right, right. Uh, memorize some new spells. Let's memorize... Oh, it says you can only have two... Two wizard spells right now? I mean, I know you're being restricted because of your armor, but... Well, anyways. Gloriana can have... Four level ones. Do two burning hands. Two level twos. And three level threes, so... Hold on dead wouldn't be a bad one, but yeah, let's just keep pumping out those fireballs. That's good for everyone. Okay, and Rizard's doing all his spells. You no longer need knock. Okay. And yeah, give us another burning hands. Do two and two. Done. Rest. Nice. Let's go ahead and do your aid. Aid. Flame blade. Alright, let's get back in there. Okay, can't imagine anyone rests in peace here, yes. Nope, not a lot of ripping going on. Wait, there's an NPC over there? There's an NPC over there, okay. Let's see what he's about. Hey, buddy. You're kind of in an awkward spot. Is this a thief NPC? Or a thief friend? Halt where you are, or by helm you'll find yourself in residence here permanently. Explain yourself, man. I'm getting kind of angry. How do you actually make money? Is there? Do you know of a shop where you can sell this stuff? Because I have never seen one. And yes, I did play a little bit of Ultima Underworld. I did not finish it, but I played a bit. Played it bits. I forget why I stopped. I think was it because of this? I, I was having having trouble with the, getting the sound right. I think at the time. All right. Uh. It does take certain courage to, to rob these graves. Oh, I was asking him to join me. I didn't fully read that. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to... No, I don't want to... I didn't... I didn't realize that that's what I was saying yes to. No, I don't want him to join me. Go, leave. Uh, can you thieve as well for a common goal? Can I say no? No! No! I just wanted to be social. I didn't realize what I was saying. God damn it. When did I last save it? I last saved it very recently, right? It, it, it's now it's forcing me. Now it's forcing me. All right. God damn it. You've got to be kidding me. All right, we'll have to go back to the freaking... We'll have to go back to the freaking stupid tavern, I guess, because I hadn't saved it very recently, just when I was sick last time, which is great. All right, freaking awesome.
Freaking awesome. Okay, good. Wait, did I need that note? I'm, I'm just, I'm speechless. Because I didn't realize what I was saying. Alright, let's deal with this horde of zombies. God damn it, this game. I am not pleased with this. So she left all her stuff here, so we're gonna have to put that on. We already have a thief. And I've yeah, and I've never had a use for a thief this whole freaking game. So Yeah. I'm so glad I chose a thief. Hasn't this been great? Now, I'm gonna have to go back to the tavern. That's all there is to it. I mean, I can still complete this with this thief in my party. But, god damn it, I'm annoyed. Well, let's just do this. I guess you're getting experience with us then. Useless guy. We're gonna just go straight. You know, the, the tavern's not that far away. Let's go back to the tavern. Screw it. God damn it. Too late now. Yeah. Yeah, fighter mages, paladins, and mage clerks. That does seem to be the way to go in these games. It certainly is what I'm going to be doing next time. Although I think maybe they learned their lesson in Stone Prophet. Probably. I think there's actually more use for a thief in Stone Prophet than there is in this game, but still. I'm not I'm not doing that. <laughs> and uh Wait, I wasn't reading. Where did they where'd that guy say he would be? Probably back in his house, right? It is disappointing that thieves are lousy. It really is. Because, yeah, they're fun to play in D&D &D because they're the, they're the people with all sorts of utility. Like, oh, I can put us in disguise. I can help us climb this wall. I can help us open this door. I can help us be charismatic and talk to people or, you know, just having thieves in your party in a Dungeons & Dragons game usually opens up all sorts of possibilities. But when they just don't have those possibilities because you're playing a strict game, a oh, freaking werewolf. Then, uh, yeah. Then it's not very rewarding to have a thief. Naturally. Okay, well that was, that was too far away. But this werewolf is an issue. And it killed my friend. And it freaking killed my friend. I should've just gone into the house. And it killed my friend. And I should've saved it, but I didn't want to save it because of things and fuck. I didn't want to use another, and the only person who can use the revive scroll is dead. So, I, I guess I should have saved it when I had the thief, but we're back to where I was sick, and now I'm starting to lose my patience, you know, that's... Oh, I'm really starting to lose my patience now. God damn it. I, and I, sh I just should have saved it. I should have saved it. I don't know why I didn't save it. I was being stubborn. But I was thinking about, like, should I load the game and just go back to this point where I didn't leave lose my party member? <sighs> okay. So we'll have to do the mirror thing again. I'm making, like, no progress at all this, this session. If I'd have to... Ugh. Deep breaths. <laughs> Save often. I'm doing terrible. It's like, this might be my... I don't know. This might be one of my worst playthroughs ever. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really losing it. <laughs> Alright, cure disease. Make sure to save often. Yep, I sure do. 
Oh, right. Nope, nope, nope. Not that way. That's right. I did it with a scroll. I did it with a scroll. Make sure to do it with a scroll. Otherwise, he'll die. Wait, you did give me the key, priest, didn't you? I just jammed the talk because I was annoyed and frustrated. You didn't give me the key, did you? Give me the give me the key. And step mode is just hard to get around with. It's faster, but it's hard to get around. Oh, it was. Okay. Yeah, give me the key. Good to see you, Dick and Corp. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we still we still have like 20 minutes in this particular stream. But yeah, I like how I say one wrong thing and this is like, oh, I'm in your party now. <laughs> Not saving it often enough. Unless I had, had I saved on that slot? I don't think I did. Last time I saved it was in the frickin' uh in the frickin' church. Blade. Alright, yay, we can kill all these zombies again. Get your frickin' knife on. That shield back. I'll need to reconfigure my spells, that's right. My spell configuration's off. I miss having burning hands. Lots of burning hands. Because of that. that, but the projectiles in this game can act just a little funky. Yeah, that hit. Whereas the area attacks are very dependable. I don't know how they're gonna work. <laughs> he just killed him? That fast? Damn it. Oh, damn it. All right, well, that gives me a chance to change. Wow. Just like two hits and he's just, boom, done. Okay. Gives me a chance to re-memorize my spells, yay. Having a good time with this one. Just a heck with it all, all burning hands. If we run into more hellhounds, I'll change it back. Not expecting to run into more hellhounds. Alright, two ice storms. Okay, good. Done. Rest. Get your shield back on. I love how slow the buffs are. This game's just evil. Sometimes. I mean, I didn't max out my character's stats, by the way. Now I'm regretting doing that decision. I just gave myself a few bonus points. Maybe I should have done that. 
Take these guys. They're no problem. I can handle ghouls, I can melee them. But the... Oh, frickin' paralyzation. Unless we get paralyzed, but... The vampire ladies, on the other hand... They're no good. And now that my thief friend is paralyzed, he's a huge target. So we'll just throw out all our magic and then run back and rest. That'll be just fine. I'm just fine with that. I have no idea what that noise was. That, did I mis miscast with a wand? Ice storm and all your problems go away. Uh, here. Three more fireballs. Kind of remind you of Jinx, Jinx from Pokemon. I can understand as the way their their stance and their uh, the way they walk around and. Um, I don't know about their head becoming bigger when they attack, but certainly the rest of it. Of course, that's just their head getting closer, but it just looks like their head's getting bigger. Just keep saving the game as we, uh... As we keep doing this. Just keep killing. We can do this. Again, at least we're getting more powerful and we're getting lots of experience. Vampires are worth no small amount of experience. Okay, I whiffed with that one. That one seems to be stuck in those gravestones. Okay, stop moving side to side, it's annoying. Plenty of burning hands for you. Bit of an ice knife. Burning hands. Ice knife. Burning hands. Ice knife. Nope, that missed. Okay. Burning hands. <laughs> Just go back and forth with those two. We could try stabbing it. I'd rather not stab when I can ice storm. Okay, it's probably really weak. Ice Knife is... The Ice Storm had an effect. Doesn't look like Ice Knife's having an effect. Let's just stab her. Okay, good. That managed to work out. I don't think that was a hit. Okay, that was a little bit off. Got another Ice Storm. Everyone gather around for an Ice Storm. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't gather too many enemies. Alright, here are you. Okay, definitely don't want to be backstabbed by her. We can kind of move in and out of 15 damage. Ouch. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to uh, cure light damage. Are those the vampires making those weird noises? Or is that something else? Turn on dead. And I haven't even wounded this one. Okay, I heard a hit noise, but it wasn't me. 14. Okay, ouch. They just deal a lot of damage. Got her, okay. We deal more, though. Yeah, we have, okay. Gotta be monitoring my health. You can do it, guys. Good, okay. Gloriana gains a level. Yay! We got it back. <laughs> Alright. So now... You can do two fireballs or a flame arrow. Actually, considering fireballs don't seem to hit much of an area in this game, I'm just gonna go to frickin' flame arrow. 
You know that? I haven't seen much of an area damage effect from from the fire from the fireballs. And I want to save maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. I don't know. Have I learned my lesson? Okay, fine. <laughs> Sometimes if you hit one of the one of the buttons makes it fill in or occasionally it makes it fill in the rest of the the previous entry. Yeah, I think it might be space. I accidentally hit space or something. Probably space doing it. I don't care. But yeah, I've learned my lesson. All right. Flame blade. Flame blade, please. All right, this place is looking a little bit more clear. So yeah, I think we were making uh, an impact on the on the ghoul population. It didn't hit the one behind. Okay, that makes sense. Or one got behind me more. That's what I should be saying. Alright. So let's start looking around and see. Like, it looks like there's a door on this side. Can I go through that? Yes, I can. Okay. Jesus! Whatever the heck that was, it just... wiped us. <laughs> Whatever that was... It didn't care for, didn't care for us, I'm not one bit. <laughs> I'm not sure, yeah, like 30s across the board. Recently returned from nope. Well, it is about time for me to wrap things up. At least I'll be in a good place for next stream. I could wrap things up there. Well, I can play a little bit more. That was, wait. What? Wait, this wasn't where it was, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, you already flipped around. Okay, so, that doesn't seem right. But it turns stepping mode off every time, right? Okay. And my numpad. Wait, am I stuck? Why can't I move? Stuck between. Uh, I'm like stuck between trees. There we go. <laughs> Save myself in an awkward position. I'm gonna move myself and then resave it because I was like. It's very awkward that those trees are there. Yeah, yeah, I could just call it good timing. I'm tempted to... Kind of tempted to make a little bit more progress in the game, but we'll see. What's around this corner? Okay, there's just, uh... There's just bats in this one. Bats and ghouls. That's not as bad. There's a box on the floor. Yeah, now that we've hollowed this out, we can start resting in here. Oh, another key ring. With no keys. A cure serious wounds. A claws umber hulk. Claws umber hulk? What was that spell? I know what an umber hulk is. They could confuse people and stuff and dig through the ground. They were scary. God, this is actually making me want to play the Dark Sun games as well. The Dark Sun games were pretty cool, because they were top-down. I might do that. But... Oh, and I don't think I need this tome anymore, do I? I'll just put it in one of the boxes, though. I know we need, need the written instruction. Can I put this key on the ring? Yeah, I can. Okay. Actually, well, considering how many keys we're getting, uh, a second key ring wouldn't be so bad. All right. Eh, this is an urn. Okay. Sure. I'll save it here. Mm. Graveyard killing. 
All right, so yeah, we'll have some fun killing some monsters next time. Thank you guys very much for joining me through this... What I would call a very trying episode of this game, because I was just so... So stupid. <laughs> oh, what else can, how else can I put it? But thank you guys for sticking with me. Or oblivious, so yeah, I appreciate that. Hopefully, I'll get through the rest of this game without... As many problems. But, I mean, these things do happen. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Shoutouts to B Vargas, Bridget Fares. Uh, oh yeah, and I love this. Yeah, me too, Bridget. Yeah, Dark Sun's use of psionics was great. Um, yeah, modern interfaces wouldn't hurt. Uh, shout out to Aaron Kessinger, uh, Deccan Corp, uh, Libby the White Queen, and uh, Finger Pop and Tommy. Yeah, the fact that you guys were all so cool about this really, you know, at, well, at least one thing is, it does make me feel good that you guys, it does make me feel like you guys were rooting for me and not, like, giving me a hard time, you know? Like, you know, there's, like, certain people when people get stuck that they would give them a hard time, but you guys, you guys were all trying to help me out and encourage me, and so I appreciate, I appreciate everyone being so cool when I feel like, I, I walk away from this feeling like, like maybe I didn't put on the best show, but you guys... Yeah, thanks. The point is thanks. And, um, coming up next is 60 parsecs. That'll be fun. So, I'll, thanks again, I'll see you then, and I hope to do more of this next week. I, I will, I'm, I'm gonna complete this game. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. <laughs> like, uh, am I, are you a masochist? Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> okay. I just like old games, that's, it's not that. <laughs> but sometimes it can be very trying, okay. Yeah, alright, so thanks again. I'll see you then. Bye bye. Levers. Look for levers. And, y yeah, don't. Try not to overlook the obvious. I guess that's today's lesson. Alright, bye bye. <laughs>